Good evening. It is my great honor to introduce my friend, photographer, and artist of the year, not just Texas, but the world, <laughs> Leticia Huckabee. Three words I would use to describe Leticia have to be family, history, and community. Those words and those ideas intersect in everything that she does. She's not only an artist, but she is a wife and mother, and to the envy of a lot of her peers who are also part of big families, she somehow manages to balance the world between the art that she makes and the family that she loves and cares for. And it shows in the work that she creates. She often uses her family in her work, but she also just has this beautiful calm and balance that is inspiring to everyone around her. Her connection to her community goes beyond uh, making work as an artist. Uh, she embeds herself and is sincere and genuine in her affection for the people around her. Um, she has a very calm and uh, level-headed approach to her interactions, and it's just completely disarming. I can't imagine getting one's subjects so connected um, in the way that she does uh, but I think it's because she has a genuine interest in what she's doing and in the people that she invites to collaborate with her in the work that she makes. It is quite an honor, but it's also a deserved honor to be awarded Texas Artist of the Year. Leticia, congratulations, and there is more yet to come and I am pretty honored to be introducing you tonight. This exhibition, which is called Bitter Water Sweet, is a project that I really feel like is a culmination of the work that I've been doing recently in my practice. I was really excited to take on this project about Africatown, which is in Mobile, Alabama, a community started by slaves, and they started their own community and have actual descendants that still live there. I was really excited to work on this project. Within the, the body of work, there are pieces solely dedicated to the, what I call ancestors, or those original individuals that came over on the slave ship. And then there's some uh, portraits that were taken, which you can see behind me, of their descendants. And then other two aspects of the show is sort of what I called the water and landscape section, where I'm following the path that their ship took when they came into Mobile Bay and, and where the ship is now, because the ship is currently being studied by um, the government and by scientists to see if it can be raised. It's, it's the only uh, sort of intact ship that's left. So there's some images that show where the ship is now, scans of the river bottom, and then just images of the water. I started doing dance when I was three years old, but when I was in high school, I was accepted into this uh, really prestigious arts camp. And it was the first time I saw photography as an art form, not as advertising or the news. And I was really sort of drawn to it. They were doing dark room and it has this sort of magical quality to it. I wanted to study photography when I went to college, but my parents didn't really see it as a viable option for a long-term career. So I ended up going in journalism and worked for a radio station for several years. But because I worked at the radio station, I got a discount on community college classes. And I took photography, loved it. Applied to school in Boston, sold my car, 
met a roommate in the 90s <laughs> online <laughs> and um, moved to Boston, which I'd never lived before anything, and studied photography and just never looked back. I've always been a storyteller, and I love um, I love that, that the beauty of going into a story like a fly on the wall, capturing those images, and then regurgitating it in a way that speaks something to the viewer. And so for me, art, the role of art is to communicate, to sort of challenge things that are going on and present it in a way that's palatable um, so that to me it has the most effect. This, this award means everything. I always feel like whatever I do is an example for others. And so I know that there's other artists of color, other female artists that are looking at this. And, and I have three children. And I just hope that everything that I do, I do it in a way that sets a good example for anybody who's watching. So this spotlight, uh, like I said, I don't take it lightly. I feel the weight of that. So I would just like to thank uh, Art League and all of the sponsors and donors that made this opportunity possible because I know it takes a lot. They make it look really easy, but I've seen the work <laughs> that they put in. And so uh, I'm just really grateful for that and all that they do. I would like to also thank my family for supporting me in this because I did travel a good bit while I was making this work. and all of those who helped me to get this far. I just want to thank everyone. <laughs>